In this tutorial, you will learn how to start your Spring Boot web application on a different port number. There are different ways how to do it, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways. By default, if no port number is configured, our Spring Boot application will start on port number 8080. And to configure a different port number, you'll need to update an application properties file with a new configuration property. Let's open up application properties file. It is in a folder source main resources. And here in my application properties file, I will add a new property, which is called server dot port equals, and then I'll need to provide a port number, for example, 8010. So if I run my application now, this will make it run on a port number 8010 instead of default port number 8080. Let's try that. Now, if I look up into log messages in the console of my Spring Tool Suite, I'll see that Tomcat has initialized on port number 8010. So that worked. We can also override the configured port number in application properties file by setting this port number via a command line argument. And to do that, I will first copy the location of this Spring Boot project Now I will bring in a terminal window. We'll change directory to the home folder of this Spring Boot project. And if I list files in this directory, I should see pomxml file, right? So now I can start up my Spring Boot application and overwrite the configured in the application properties file server port number by sending a different value via command line argument. So I will start up my application using Maven. And now I'll need to provide a runtime argument that I want to set. And this is a name of configuration property that I want to overwrite, starting with two dashes, dash, dash, and then server dot port equals. And this time I will start my application on a different port number, which is 8020. And now if I hit enter, my application has started, and if I check the port number on which this application started, it is 8020. All right, so this worked as well. If this video tutorial was helpful to you, then please do click on the like button. And for more tutorials like this, please do subscribe to my channel.